Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to be talking about how to study for step 1 after it became pass fail. So Yusuf, what is the best way to study for the step? Okay, so I always recommend that you try and incorporate active learning into your step prep as much as you can. And the reason this is important for an exam like step 1 is because now the exam is pass fail and all you need is a pass. So you, you gotta be as efficient as you can in order to get that pass. You don't want to be spending so much time on um, passive learning resources like uh, reading long textbooks or oh. watching long videos. So I won't get to read my FA and watch BNB? Um, well, you could always use them for reference. Like your primary resource should be QBanks and then you could supplement them with things like Boards and Beyond or Pathoma for difficult concepts that you don't understand. Oh, so if I study like four hours per day, like I should dedicate three hours to QBanks and like one hour or something to passive, like those passive resources. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's a, that's a good ratio. Um, I think you should always prioritize, even if you, if you don't have time, if you don't have time for uh, videos and your entire day is just QBanks, I think this is the most efficient way because it's not only from personal experience, there are actual studies out there that show that there's a positive correlation between the number of questions that you solve and your um, step score. Okay, lots of people think that they have weak foundation and they're scared to do question banks. What, what, what should they do? Okay, so... I think the best three resources that you should just stick to and do nothing else are UWorld, the NBMEs, and uh, AMBOSS. Even though they are scared of doing questions because of their weak foundations? Yeah, I think they should start as soon as possible with, with QBanks, immediately. As soon as you begin preparing for step one, you need to start solving questions. I would recommend you start with uh, UWorld because I think they have the most in-depth explanations so they help you to understand the high yield concepts their explanations are really good and then as you progress i'd recommend you do amboss and the nbmes because at least for my case they resemble the exam more than you world the complexity of the questions in amboss and the nbme was closer to the real deal but the explanations in you world are probably the best out there because they're um, very in-depth Okay, so if I did the NBMEs and the AMBOSS and UWorld, would that help me while I'm preparing for step two? Yeah, that's a good question. So, again, this, th this emphasizes the um, efficiency point because when you're solving questions for step one, even if, if you're answering a question that just requires a step one factoid, whether it's biochemistry or histology uh, or any of the uh, basic sciences, when, when you're critically thinking and trying to reach the um, correct conclusion or answer, this thinking process and practice will also help you um, perform better on uh, step two. So solving questions is also going to help you on step two, whether, it's rel whether the content is relevant to step two or not, because the questions in step two are also very similar to uh, step one when it comes to application of knowledge and uh, critical thinking. I think that's all we have for today. Yeah, I think um, that concludes the video. Thank you everyone for watching. Thanks.